Hey guys, at the bivouac, and um, I just came back from my little uh, weekend vacation with uh, with my wife at uh, Comox. Uh, that's the video before this one, but the sea the um, seashore uh, video. So uh, I decided to come out here for the afternoon, and um, I got a fire going. As you can see, it uh, is going pretty good. So I was batoning these um, pieces of wood here, and I didn't have a a piece of wood to baton on. I, I guess I had burnt it last time or I'm not sure. But I uh, I decided to make something I thought I'd show you guys. It's pretty simple and it makes um, doing some of the woodwork that's necessary um, easy as opposed to trying to find a stump which there is none here. All the stumps are rotting so um, I'll show you what I did. Um, I'll kind of take it apart and show you and put it back together. So this is it here and all it is, I'll just move this wood away here. All it is is a a, uh, a piece of wood, batoned in half. And what I did was, is I'll just get this off here. It's really in here good because I actually made it really good, but I'll take it apart just to show you guys. I dug a hole the size of the um, of the half here. You see, it's sort of a half log. And all I did was, is I put it even with the ground, <laughs> and then put the dirt back. On the edges and then took a small stick and stamped all the way around. Now this is really solid and I was able to baton a bunch of this wood um, and this doesn't move. It's flat and it doesn't move and what's great is is um, I can also kneel on it to start the fire. When I first come here if I don't have a pad I can just use this to kneel on as well and it's ground level. So I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, my hand in the way there. I thought that was pretty cool. Let me just sit back down on my chair. I got a coffee going. Uh, there we go. Hang on one second. Oh, and when I was at the, uh, the place there up in Comox, I actually made some coffee using one of the um, cloth filters and I didn't put it back. So when I came here, I had no filters and uh, I'd seen a, where was it? It was a uh, far north bushcraft. Uh, excellent channel if you haven't seen it this, this guy is smarter than heck and he made coffee without any filters so I thought I haven't got any filters I want some coffee so I used my kettle put a bunch of grounds in it a bunch of water put it on the fire um, boiled it for a couple of minutes let it stand and poured it out there's no coffee grounds in my coffee whatsoever they're all at the bottom of the kettle and uh, I got myself a coffee so kudos to you um, Far North Bushcraft. I appreciate that for uh, letting me know that because I would have never thought of just putting the grounds in the water. I would have thought it would be grounds all over my coffee, but uh, apparently not. It's the old way of doing it. Uh, these uh, these older guys, I tell you, they got some of the, the greatest ideas. So I'm going to sit here by my fire with my new <laughs> batoning wood and have a uh, have a coffee. It's raining pretty good actually. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it on the tarp. The tarp's holding out pretty good. Um, no issues with it. Um, I just brought the pack that I always carry with me. It's got all the same stuff. You guys don't need to see that. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, I just wanted a quick video on uh, making that little baton thing and also kneeling pad. Uh, I thought it was really uh, kind of a neat idea. I've never seen it done before. Uh, the only ones I've ever seen done for um, batoning was um, TA Outdoors, uh, another good uh, YouTube channel. And uh, the guy's dad made a good stand, but uh, nothing nothing in the ground like this uh, that can be used as well to start the fire while kneeling. So I thought I'd share it with you guys and the coffee idea. I thought that was a good idea too. So anyway, talk to you guys later. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We're at like 333 subscribers. It's going crazy. I'm like one or two a day. To all you new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Um, I hope you're getting some great info. I love doing this stuff. Uh, tell your friends to like and share and subscribe and do all that kind of stuff. And let's get this channel so it's, uh, it's going really good. I'll talk to you guys later.